Okay. We want to really understand. This. Why is this important? Because this tells us how to construct a new graph by transformations from a given graph. Okay? Tells us how to construct the vertically shifted, vertically stretched, horizontally shifted function of any toolkit function or any other function as far as that goes. So algebraically, and we want to kind of emphasize the algebra here because you're pretty good at constructing these graphs, but you know, we want to make sure about that too. First of all, I have to know how to do f of x minus h, and then multiply that by n at k. So first thing you have to understand is function notation. Well, For the squaring function, you just make a little table. Squaring reciprocal, exponential. You got the cube and the reciprocal square on. We also have the square root and the base two log. Okay. How quickly did you write the expression for a? f of x minus h plus k for each of these functions. I'm going to give you two minutes. You don't have to copy down everything. Just write down the expressions you'd put in this column. I just want to see how you're doing. Okay, now I can't go into detailed explanation of this. But the squared function is going to be a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. Uh, your toolkit function, of course, is all right, y equals x squared. Reciprocal function is y equals 1 over x. I'll write it this way f of x equals x squared f of x is 1 over x for the reciprocal function. f of x is 2 to the x for the exponential function. f of x is square root of x for the square root function. f of x equals log base 2 of x for the toolkit log function. Okay, so for the reciprocal function, uh, f of x minus h, which is where we need to start, Instead of 1 over x, we have 1 over x minus h. x is replaced by x minus h in each of these. Okay? We really need to understand that. So review this if you need, because this is a separate video. This is our first review video. So it's a multiplied by 1 over x minus h plus k. Now you can put the a in the numerator. a over x minus h plus k would be fine. For exponential, f of x minus h x is replaced by x minus h. So it's 2 to the x minus h. Then you have plus k with an a out in front. Okay? Square root. x is replaced by x minus h. You get a times the square root of x minus h plus k. Here, x is replaced by x minus h, you get a log base 2 of x minus h plus k. Okay? Now you should be able to write that down more quickly than I did because you didn't have to explain it. You really need to understand function notation well enough to be able to do this. Okay? Uh, while we're talking about function notation, Another column, let's do f of 2x 
divided by f of x. Or f of x is your toolkit function. Okay, see if you can write down a few of those. Just keep your wits about you and be literal about what you're doing. Okay, most people have a little trouble with this. We don't have anything else to do anything like this, but uh, for the squaring function, What's f of 2x mean? Oh, wait a minute. Right up here. Okay. f of x equals x squared. So f of 2x is the square of 2x, isn't it? f of x says you square whatever x is. So if you replace x with 2x, you're going to square whatever 2x is. So f of 2x over f of x is the square of 2x divided by the square of x. Um, this is going to lead to a complex fraction. What do you try for the exponential function if you haven't already gotten it? Uh, so do this one last. Let's see what you can do with the others. Good heavens, this thing's vibrating like. Okay. So, for the exponential function, we probably do this expression, but first we got to know what f of 2x is. So, I'm writing down what f of 2x is. So, f of 2x over f of x equals 1 of the and these things simplify, and we should be able to simplify them, but let's first just get the expressions f of x. Sorry, that should be f of 2x. Most of the smudge off of there. Okay, f of 2x would then be 2 to the 2x, right? Because f of x is 2 to the x, you replace x by 2x, you get 2 to the 2x, right? So f of 2x over f of x is e, sorry, 2 to the 2x over 2 to the x, okay? If f of x is the square root of x, f of 2x is the square root of 2x. So f of 2x over f of x equals the square root of 2x divided by the square root of x. Okay. Now, some of you want to put the 2x over the x in the exponent. That's not where it is. You interpret it literally. We don't make any assumptions. Okay. This can be simplified, but using the rules for exponents, you would subtract exponents here. We're not going to look at that right now. Okay. Log base two of X. If that is log base two of X, then you have log base two of two X. So You get log base two of two x over log base two of x. Now there's some simplification you can do. <clears throat> this would be log base two of two plus a log base two of x, right? I mean, you'd still be stuck with log base two of x in the denominator. So you could get two over log base two of x plus one if you wanted to. 
Well, there are things you can do with these simplifications. Okay. Um, so you should be able to do stuff like this. When you use function notation, write it out literally, don't make any assumptions and don't throw things into places where they don't belong. Okay? Write it out exactly as it needs to be written out. Because you could have questions like this on function notations. Okay? Okay, so. It's supposed to be a D, the chunk didn't want to go up high enough. Okay. Now you have the X minus H plus K equals D. That's an equation. You should be able to solve that equation if you know what AH and K are for any toolkit function. So for the squaring function, okay, we'll just kind of continue this. The squaring function, F of X is X squared. So we get A times X minus H square plus k equals d. How do you solve this equation? What would you do to solve this equation? Well, I'd start, if k and d are numbers, I'd start by subtracting k from both sides. Then I divide both sides by a, and I get x minus h squared I just subtract the k from both sides, you're going to get d minus a. Divide both sides by a, you're going to get an a here. So x minus h will be plus or minus the square root of this. Now that's just with symbols. Just showing how it works. Okay. Now, for the reciprocal function, you'd have a over x minus h plus k equals d. Multiply both sides by x minus h. Now, maybe first you subtract k from both sides. Okay. Now, say generally you want to immediately multiply by. A common denominator. In this case, you can do easy simplification, but you got to multiply both sides by the denominator. That's how you solve an equation. Any equation where you have a denominator, it's particularly important if your variable is in the denominator. Exponential equation. A times two to the x minus h plus k equals d. Okay. Well, you can pretty quickly get this to the form two to the x minus h. Well, you subtract k from both sides, you get a d minus k, and then divide by a. Now you do that in two steps at least, okay? I'm doing a quick summary of steps that I think you understand and know because they're the same type of steps you would use for a linear function. But what do you then do? You change it to logarithmic form. If these are all numbers, you can take the log base two and then you can add H and you've got your solution for X. Is this making sense? You want to think about it until it does because you're going to be asked to solve equations of this nature. I'll probably give you an assignment this weekend where I give you some sample equations and stuff like that. Okay, see? So, what if you review this? What if you had 
a times the square root of x minus h plus k equals d. Well, subtract k from both sides, divide both sides from a, you get the square root of x minus h equals d minus k over a. So x minus h equals d minus k over a quantity squared. If they're numbers, it's easier, but that shows you in symbols the kind of steps you would do. If you got log base two of x minus h plus k equals d, you get with a log base two, you get log base two of x minus h equals d minus k over a. And again, why is it, why do we keep getting d minus k over a? Because we've got a plus k here, we're going to subtract that from d, and we've got an a here, then we can divide both sides by a. So that's just indicating what we do. Once you have this form, you change it to exponential form. So x minus h is two to the d minus k over a, whatever those numbers give you. And then you add h to both sides and you've got x, okay? If you can do all that, you've got a reasonable set of equation solving skills, okay? And if you don't have it right now, you're pretty close to it. Okay, so we're going to make sure you're there so you can solve equations if they come up, and they will on the exam.